Mike Tindall has unveiled that the royal family did approve of his decision to appear on Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here! Earlier this autumn, as a non-working royal he did not need to seek official permission from the firm to take part, however he did speak to one member as a courtesy. On his podcast The Good, The Bad, and The Rugby, the former England player answered questions from his co-hosts about the royal opinion on his TV stint. He revealed he had a conversation with his wife's cousin Prince William, who is also first in line to the throne. Mr. Tyndall said, you don't want to upset anyone. I spoke to the Prince of Wales about it and he said great, go have fun. He added that although he had not been told what he could or could not reveal about the firm, he decided to keep conversations short to protect the family's privacy. However he still had some fun stories about his time with the royals to share including his boozy first date with wife Zara, with whom he now has three children. The rugby podcaster also admitted he had ripped his trousers in front of his mother-in-law Princess Anne at his 30th birthday party. During his time on the show he told his fellow campmates, I was dancing on the dance floor. I had like flares on, full outfit, but it was quite tight. Nothing ever fits a rugby player's bum and legs. So I was dancing with my mother-in-law, and I did a slut drop in front of my mother-in-law. Ripped my trousers, straight in front of her. Luckily it seemed the Princess Royal found the incident rather humorous, as Mr. Tyndall continued, it happened to be that the boxers that I had on at that time said nibble my nuts. As I've turned round, she's gone, you'd rather not. Finishing fourth in the competition, he told hosts Anton Deck he was happy with his progress in the show, according to the Mirror. He said, I'm good. It's been a long time. I can feel my body was getting ready to go. I'm pretty comfortable with it. It's been a lot of laugh. That is the best thing. You can get through anything when the humor is good.